so you don't know what cannot be done and then you you dare to do certain things that wouldn't have been done otherwise i think what we got on the screen is is, is great and water If you really want to make it true to what happened, you need to recreate a tsunami in a very realistic way. In a story like this, it was very important to be as truthful as we possibly could. We didn't really know how we were going to do it. Being a film based upon a real story, we came to the conclusion that we couldn't use digital water. People kept telling us, oh no, you cannot do the wave with real water. It has to be CGI. And we didn't have the money for that. We started to investigate how to mix real layers of water that could recreate that feeling of an ocean. The wave that you have for a tsunami is a very different shape from a regular sea wave that we normally make. When the team decided they wanted to have a really dirty wave, we weren't sure that we could actually make such a thing. So we started looking through all of our tapes and we found the worst waves that we could ever make ones where the test had all gone wrong and so it started with there, really. The Orchid Beach Resort is brand new. We just opened a week ago. You love it here. We built a 1-3 scale model of the Orchid Beach Resort's pool and the whole area of bungalows. And we only had one chance, one only take, uh, to destroy that model. So we had to set up all the frames at once and each frame required a specific camera. And I think there was a moment that we lost track of how many cameras we had inside that model for only one take. We'd had many discussions about what the wave would do when it hit particular panels, what it could blow through, what damage it would do. And so this is where the skill of the Magicom team came in because they had to make something that would break up in a realistic way. There was a decisive moment, which was the moment we had to push that button. Action! Agua! It was one of those things where the acting wasn't really required, because at times we, I was genuinely scared. I'm not 25, I'm not Tom's age, and it's not normal for me to be thrust around like this. It was a hard thing to do. We're learning as we went along.